Where do we begin? Is it finding like a good space within your home? Like what's and what's Absolutely. a good space? Absolutely. So so before you even start into thinking about creating a studio, you got to ask the question, why do you need a studio? Can you not just go in your car and record video using your phone or go outside? Yes, you could do that. But figuring out that why is going to help you propel faster. Like, why did I want to become a beekeeper? Because it's going to help my kid become a, you know, be fight those seasonal allergies because bees, you know, travel up to three to five miles. And now the reason I'm mentioning bees is because I found my why and that helped me be more motivated into becoming a beekeeper, into actually spending the eight weeks to learning what it takes to be a beekeeper, to buying the equipment. So before you want to build a studio, you got to figure out why. Is it going to help you create a better connection with your audience? Is it going to help you stand out professionally when you come on camera? Yes. The answer points to yes. So if that's what you want to do, the first thing you want to figure out, okay, I want to build a studio. Where do you want to build a studio? Do you have a separate room? Are you going to do it in your living room? Are you going to do it in your basement? Figure out that space that you're going to use. So the first thing that I, I look into is do room analysis. Analyze the room. Where are the windows in that room? Where are the doors? Is the door going to be in your shot? When people coming in, you're like, oh, hold on. I'm, I'm doing it live right now. So you got to figure out those little things. Now, when I first started, I was like, okay, I want this wall over here. Because oh, I was following yeah. Pat Flynn, and he had, uh, in all of his videos, in all of his um, teaching videos, he had a wooden wall behind him. I was like, I need a wall first. So that's the first thing that I did in my room. And then as I started building, I was like, I don't want that. I don't want that to be the only look. So I started building and adding more stuff, more and more stuff to the room. And <clears throat> it's taken me two years to cut, get to this point. And it's ever evolving. In fact, I've got a revolving camera in my studio that's going to go around the back of my computer as well as behind me. Over time, I'm just adding more and more stuff. So the first thing is analyze your room, figure out what the light's falling, figure out where the door is coming in so that you can think about how that room is going to set up. Just like we set up our bedrooms, our living rooms, our dining rooms. You know, we, we look at all the spaces and like, okay, this is how it's going to work. Uh, just another, the transition that you just did there. Was that Ecamm or you using ATEM? What, how are you switching? I'm using the ATEM Mini for that, yes. Oh, see, see, and these are the things where I'm like, a video person wouldn't appreciate that, or a non-video person wouldn't appreciate yeah. that. Like, when you did it, I was like, oh, I like that. <laughs> you know, I like the, the, way it, the way it transitioned. But, so finding a space and, and identifying the why, I think our audience right now might be more in the real estate industry, but there are some mm -hmm. general just business people that watch. And if you ever have to do anything virtually, I think you have to in this day and age because more and more people are doing video, right? So then it's, yeah. it's, it's just like you said, if I'm going to do it, man, let's be the best at it. Let's stand out from the crowd of people. There's, there's 49 people that can fit in a Zoom right yeah. now. You want to be the one out of the 49 that go, damn, Janae, that, yo, that background's nice. What you got going on there? Like, what's, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. It sets you apart. It makes you more professional no matter what. Exactly. Exactly. It gives us an un, uh, unwavering level of like confidence. Yeah. And it also shows credibility. Like, wait, this guy spent a ton of time on his gear, on his background, on his lighting. This guy must know something that we all don't know. I, I actually had a, a seller hire, hire me to sell their home. Uh, and, and my audience for the video, a lot of the video content that I create is real estate agents, right? I'm a speaker, mm -hmm. but I'm also um, a real estate agent as well. And mm -hmm. the seller hired me because they're like, man, I watch all your videos. And I'm like, not my audience, right? It's, it's not. Yeah. She goes, I watch all your videos. And I was like, wow, if he puts this level of professionalism into creating all these videos, then yeah. like he's going to take care of me in the real estate transaction. Because uh, I'm a firm believer in how you do anything is how you do everything. Absolutely. Right. 100%.
Uh, I, I like what you said about finding the right space because uh, my studio where, where I'm at now, is in like just the little details, like there's a door to my stage right, mm -hmm. okay? And when I first, this was during the pandemic, I squatted in, there's an office space within my office and nobody was using it, so I just started bringing equipment in. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly. And it had one of those, with one of the window doors. Yeah. You know, that you can see through. And just that alone was a huge distraction for me because I'm here. I want to be here in the moment, but then I right. see somebody in my peripheral and I got ADHD pretty bad. So I'm like, like or if I do something silly, then, you know, I, I feel like people watching me, people knocking on the door, going, are you mm -hmm. live? What's going on in there? <laughs> so finding You need the to right get space. one of those lights that says on air, you know, you put it up. You, you probably got one already. <laughs> there we go. On air, baby. <laughs> <laughs> got it on Etsy. Got it on Etsy. Nice. nice. You can find just about anything on there. It's got a little switch with an LED light inside there. Nice. So finding the right space, dude. What, let's talk dimensions, and I guess that can vary because, like, right now, oh yeah, I'm in a virtual space. If I went back um, over here, you guys, this is not real, right? It's a fake background. Yeah. It's not real. Um, in a virtual space. So you're in an actual space. So let's, I'm going to yes, bring it back full screen. Yes, actual room, yeah. Uh, that's your real background. Real right? background, real posters, you know, random. I've got the social oh, media marketing to, world badge the hanging right there, you know. <laughs> Super Janaid. Um, <laughs> and so that's, is that a personal preference, like actual background over virtual background? And then uh, depending which route you go, who needs more space or right so a does it person showcase my personality because i got star wars stuff and iron man right, helmet right. and stuff like that hanging out in there it all also tells me i'm stepping into a virtual uh, a real space and i'm like this is it feels good like when you come in it feels good the lighting's all right like what watch this hey siri Office time, right? Okay. So these are my regular lights on in my space. Okay. So I've set up different lights and different scenes so that when I get in here and I want to shoot video, I just say, hey, Siri, studio time. And it turns on oh, the sad. lights that I need. Oh, dude, I'm studio. so jelly. I know I got, right. when will it stop for me? I don't know. I don't know when it's going to stop because it's like I keep seeing more Well, and more Well, things. here's the thing, right? You're always growing. We're always right. constantly growing. Our bodies are literally different every seven weeks because our, all the cells are gone, right? We're, we're continually growing. So does it ever stop? Not really, but. <laughs> it does <laughs> Progress, not stop. perfection, right? I don't think we can ever. It only stops perfection. when you're underground, okay? <laughs> Just say that. I'm, I'm gonna post the video of what, because you, you made mention of the 360. I have video from the eCam event that we were at. Oh, sweet. Uh, sweet. That I'll post. I'll post that in the comments for you guys, and I'll, I'll post it on IG uh, for you guys as well. That uh, was so cool, so cool. We're, yeah. we're definitely, yeah. and and I think it's you know, making yourself uncomfortable. You're like, okay, what else can I do? And how can I figure out? I think because we're yeah. creative, when you're a creative type, you're like, okay, let's get a new challenge. Let's figure something out more to do something cooler, something better, because yeah. somebody else figured out what you did a year ago. Now you exactly. gotta elevate. Ah, you, elevate. You're, you keep, because we're not satisfied with ourselves like even now i was like oh i wish i could do this better i wish i could paint the the wall in my room like i'm all, always constantly questioning myself it's and and that's because that's because you want to be better than yourself from yesterday right and that's why like it's never gonna stop but if you're content and you're